Hello, welcome to Audio Heads, the product of Geeks Assembled. And today it's just me and Tim from old Texas way. Um, we are talking a 2005 audio drama written by a Mr. Joseph Lidster. And of course, it's a cult, cult classic TV show, but uh, we are talking Sapphire and Steel starring David Warner and Susanna Harker. And this story is Daisy Chain, as I said, by Joseph Lidster. So, without further to do, opening thoughts then. Um, Tim, what was your take on this very dark sort of tale? I think it's improved with more listens, I think. Because the first time I listened to this was several years ago, when I got all of the, the, the stories at one time. Yeah, and sure. um, so yeah. I listened to them in a bunch, and I didn't I didn't think this one was that good. It wasn't as good as a couple of the other ones. Mm. But since then, I've listened to it another couple of times, and it is very good. It is very dark. Um, it reminds you of the the TV episode of the train station because of what they have to do uh, at the end. Yeah. Yes, which, that's what that. So as a, when I re listened to it, I thought yes, very reminiscent of dear old Tully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's a shame they have to do that. But at the, at the end of the day, there's basically they're not human, and you, you tend to forget that. That's the point. You're supposed to kind of forget that sometimes because Sapphire, while she's icy cold, she's also very uh, empathetic with the humans they encounter throughout their their adventures. And Steel's the one that's just kind of steely. I mean, he's not. He never really cares. He's just he's there to do the job, get in and get out, and, and, and not get caught up in human drama. He lives up to his name, Steel. So yeah. <laughs> So I mean, I think I think that when, anytime they have to sacrifice somebody like that, it's kind of it's kind of tragic. But it, it just shows you how important their job is. Because I, I I love the alternative to Doctor Who. This is because Doctor Who is all about time travel and adventuring and all that stuff. Whereas yeah. this time is always the villain. It's it's yeah. it's some it's some ominous presence that's trying to break in somewhere and wreak havoc throughout time. You know itself. So it, it's always the villain. They have to figure out how to catch it and stop it you know so. catch time stop time breaking through well if it's already broken through how to get it back into its proper place sort of thing exactly yeah it's uh i totally agree with you um when i first listened to it way back in 2005 out of the releases what was this this for me i thought was the weakest hmm. it was a bit um it, it was a bit all over the place to begin with you know with all the, the tv adverts and st breaking into the into the play and all like that uh but on re-listening on, on it again it is very good it's yeah. well written well acted um and it's very dark and macabre um mm -hmm. which sapphire still should be exactly it, it, um, it manages it does it does um benefit from a second or third listen yeah, yeah, it's you pick up uh, things you didn't catch the first time. Oh yeah, I mean in the the cast, I, I, I mean when when it was announced, you know, they were doing these audios of Safresh and replacing, of course, um, Lumley and McCallum. Um, David Warner was an ideal choice, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's very steely with his voice, and Susan Araker is a you know the the sympathetic Sapphire and. The work so well together. I mean, you you do forget when you're listening to it, you do forget it's two different actors playing these characters. You just exactly. get into the story. I and think that, it's just as good. I think it proves yeah, it's kind of actor proof. Yeah, yeah, it is. And and this setting as well in nor normal sub suburbia in in a, just a down and out house, a normal family, a sort of normal family. Um, yeah, it's and I do like the darkness in this. And when um, when you found out what the mother had done, mm -hmm. uh, it was the, the actress, I'm trying to remember her name now, Kim Hartman playing the mother. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's famous in the UK, I mean, uh, for playing um, in the sitcom Allo Allo. I don't know if you've got it over there. In, oh, really? In oh, oh, which, who did she play in that? She played... Um, oh, oh, she played... Uh, uh, I can't remember the name now. Uh, Hair Flicks, bit on the side. Hair yeah, hair flicks. Uh, I can't remember the name of the character. Helga. Was it Helga? Helga yeah. Yeah, yeah Helga. she played Helga in the TV show. I had no idea that was her. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. I had no idea. But, uh, she's, she's, she's very good. She, yeah, I mean, as a as a, a distraught mother, I'm fed up with 
uh, teenagers playing loud music, uh, you know, the mm-hmm. electric playing up, um, she takes to drink most of the time, uh, <laughs> and then collapses every now and again. But even the, even the children are well, so well acted in this. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you do feel like it's a proper family. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not over the top. It's like real life, um, apart from of course the, the science fiction side of it when it comes into it. They they make you think it's gonna have something to do with their father that's not around too. They lead you down the, the path to think yeah, uh, yeah, might, might have something to do with the father. They definitely. never they never really mention him though. I mean, he, yeah. he's not even part of this whole situation. Uh, and, um, and he, he he'd had enough of the the his wife. You know, uh, uh, going down that road with this well we can say now because this is so so old this story now the stillborn baby um yeah. but um yeah i enjoy it and as i say it's it's down to the it's down to the writing and the acting in this and for me now as you've said and i've said it gets better every time you listen to it, it and i mean this must be well maybe the sixth time i've listened to this now I listened to it a few times to begin with way back in the day and gradually I've, I've listened to this t- twice now within the past four, you know, two weeks. Mm. So, so just to refresh me, you know, to get it back into it. And it is now what, like, out of that first season, I think it is on par with some of the others in that season now. Mm. So, so any favourite moments in this or things what you were too keen on? Well, one thing I I forgot though that when I noticed this time was that that the when she touches the music box, Sapphire. Oh yeah. <laughs> it 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 not only takes control of her but it also uses her to take time backwards. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which they don't really follow up on too much later once they get out of that situation. But I mean, you you remember in the TV series she she could she could move time back and forth a little bit. She yeah. she was and and even then she was very hard for her. It would take a lot out of her. So I thought mm-hmm. that was pretty cool that they did that in this story. Yeah, yeah it was the it was the music box what it affected her, it controlled her to do it. Yeah, um, and it did. T- it, it, she was well, she was collapsed on the floor holding the, the music box. But yeah, in a, in where if it was in her head or anything, she was being um, taunted and trying tricked by wh- whoever this entity was. You know, pretended to be even pretended to be steel at one point. Um, yeah, and I thought it was cool also that they used a real life problem because this this is a situation that can happen with twins, where yeah. um, uh, one twin is dominant and the other twin suffers because of it, and in the womb, and it's 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 not malicious on anybody's part. It just happens. It's part of nature. So yeah. so much so that sometimes they have to deliver them prematurely early because if they don't, then one of the twins might die because of that. And so they just did a good job of making that a real situation. Yeah, and, but I can also understand people, if and when listening to this, were a bit taken aback or maybe put off by that usage of what in the story. But it's it's only a story, and it it's it's as you say, it's a real life situation. It does happen. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't you can't wash over things like that. And that uh, makes it a brilliant idea, to be fair, on Lister's part, because that because you don't you don't really see that coming until episode four when they explain it. And then mm-hmm. even they even into it's a twist that Sapphire has to talk. talk. They, they haven't fixed the problem, so she has to talk the girl into doing what the girl was already thinking of doing anyway. She was she yeah. was off it type. Uh, I mean, also as well that that uh, with the taking of taking of the life yeah. is a, is a dark um, thing to put into a play as well. It's, um, it's a dark twist at the end. You don't see it coming it at all. Dark. I mean, people may be may be put off by that when they hear it, but. All in all, it, it's it's an element of the story. It, it, it does. It happens in real life. Um, they've taken that, they've put it into a story, and it's a damn good story. Yeah. Um, on a couple of levels. It, does, it does work, yeah. Um, and also, the music in this, the way they use the... Um, it's always been with Safran Steel, the nursery rams. It's always nursery rams. And uh, this, I can't remember which... What, what, Measure on this was no, there was, there was, we'll go to sleep one, I think. yeah, it's um, but it, the way they use the the back, the, the, the soundscape, and, and they say the nursery rounds and stuff like that, and they say the music box music, and 
well, this, ser this series, uh, this in general, Flat Iron Steel is ideal for audio because it was great Ooh. on television, but you don't really need the visuals. I mean, you, you can tell stories like this. It's usually about hauntings and yeah. uh, ghosts and stuff like that, or, you know, whatever time, whatever time is trying to do, you know, so it, it's, it's ideal for audio. It's really a pity they don't have the license anymore that they can't make more of it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, did it come down to licensing? That's why they, they lost the license. Yeah, they lost the license. Yeah. They, can't even sell, they can't even sell the CDs. <laughs> legally. They can't. Good, yeah. good job I bought them when they came out. <laughs> yeah. That happens with a lot of their properties because uh, uh, Lisa Bowerman explained that to us when we had an interview with her one time that once they don't have the license, they can't even sell the product. That's why these, these aren't available on their website either. Like, uh, uh, the, yeah, the Tomorrow people, they can't do that anymore now. Yeah, so it's, it's really a shame. Because they yeah. put a lot of work into these. These are And these are very good for the most part. There's a couple of clunkers in there, but overall, it's a very good, well-made series for big yeah, they, they, uh, How many seasons do they do? About, is it four seasons? I, I think, think it's four. Four, yeah. And, yeah, as you said, maybe a, a clank here and there, but still enjoyable stories. And so this is oh. one of this is to say, if anybody's going to listen to this, if they can get hold of it, if they, you know, anywhere. Yeah. Uh, I would you know, it's perfectly cast, too. I mean, I, like we said, I mean, I prefer to have the original cast, but they got two, two really good replacements, so oh. much so that you forget yeah, yeah. listening to it. I want some actors. Yeah. I, I, I do wish, I mean, I, do, I don't know, uh, I mean, they, they really do use David Warner a lot. Do a big finish. I do wish Susanna Hacker would reappear in Big Finish at some point because hmm. you know she, I haven't heard from her for a while now. I don't. I mean, she may be busy. She may be trading the board. She may be doing it. I don't know. Or maybe she just didn't want to do any more. Who knows? Um, but yeah, yeah Susanna, Susanna Hack. You know, if we can get. But I mean, I guess David Warren's He's more of a retiree at this point. He doesn't do a whole lot of movie or you know, acting. Yeah, yeah. And this is easy for him because his girlfriend yeah, works yeah, there. Yeah, so. in a boob and read some words. Yeah. <laughs> Same for Tom Baker, isn't it? He, he, he just does that as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least in their time of life. But um, yeah, yes, but I do recommend this. Um, it may take a few listens because it, it, it is a it is a complex story. Um, there's things here and there, you know, flashing there, flash there. Not in there, but it might be a bit off-putting to begin with. But if you listen to it a few times, it does come you do come round to it and you, you will like this um have we got anything else we can say on this i, I guess it, 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 to, to each their own when they listen to something new um you have to yeah. kind of the, the thing about sapphire and steel also is they never explained anything they just showed up and did their job and it, once once you were watching it for a while, you'd be like, "Oh, okay." So they're never going to tell us where they come from or who they are, or what they do. Yeah, today, just, you just you just know they they're, not, to, they're not. They leave human. it up to the viewer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know so, where they're from or where so they go. If you're going to listen to this new, straight off the, you know, you're going to be in the dark until you yeah. figure out what it is exactly they do. Yeah, it's not, it's maybe not. yeah, maybe recommend watch a TV episode and then listen to an audio and get the gist of how the series and the audio it's went. a brilliant idea for a series it's really a pity that they haven't ever followed whoever owns the rights to it i don't know why they're not following up on it and doing something with it because it would make a great uh another series you know what i mean uh, yeah like a, a book to do with these uh, reboots remakes mm -hmm. yeah i always say it's i mean it was 1979 79, 79 was the tv series uh and they only did six six stories, <laughs> spread out over up to about nineteen eighty two. That's the, but yeah, it's, it's about time suffering still returned in some shape or form, be it audio or TV. Mm. It works both ways. Um, so, what would you give this then? What would you give this as if a? I was going to rate it. I think I would yeah. give it a eight and a half. Do you it's, know? It's, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Because <laughs> it's, it's not quite perfect, uh, but it, it is very good. It is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, when I first listened to it, it would have been about a six. Hmm. But listened and listened. If you know, there's certain things you've got to give a, a, more than a, one listen to, and this is it is one. But you've got to listen more than once. And uh, hmm. I'm I'm with Tim on this. I'm I would be giving this an eight and a half. It's a it's a, it's a damn good listen. Um, 
soft, dark, um, gritty, mm-hmm. and you know the acting in it is just is just superb. And and the writing, Joseph, he's a he's a mate of Beefheads apparently. He's Joseph. So, oh yeah, I think he likes he likes Beefhead shorts or his his legs. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, I'm giving it eight out, eight and a half out of ten. So, so, so it's only been me and Tim to the small cast, but we still enjoy listening to our audios. Um, so, Tim, thanks for joining me. Sure. It's, it's always good to see you, mate, because we don't often see each other because we're busy, busy, busy people. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys out there, please leave a comment below. Let us know if you've heard this audio. Um, let us know what you thought of it. Let us know if you would like us to review any more Sapphire and Steel or anything audio-wise, let us know. Uh, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, um, we're all over the place. Uh, and if you want to join us, just leave us a message and we'll get back in back in touch with you as soon as we can and see if we can sort you out getting into the group. So until next time, from me, from Tim, we'll be seeing you. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing next time because we haven't thought of it yet, but We'll let you know. It's usually in a fortnight's time. So until then, bye for now.